a little cast iron Wednesday cooking on the cast iron griddle. I'm gonna do a little hamburger, a little charcoal. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. No diggity, no doubt. How about a little fired up Friday? This here is my charcoal starter. Old paint can. Knocked a few little holes in it to get a little air to it. Once it gets done, it's going to smolder for a long time. And them coals are going to get hot. We're going to dump it over in this here uh, uh, rim grill griddle. Rim, griddle, fire, chef Bonjardi style. Stay tuned. Hamburger meat and some Stubbs beef spice rub. This is the only thing I'm putting on the hamburger meat. Nothing else at all. This here seasoning here brought to you by Cooking with CJ. Mmm, we're going to give it a try on my grill, on my homemade grill, and uh, give you a little taste test. Charcoal. Good and done. Got it in the, in the pan so we can cook on the griddle. Got a little something extra I'm going to throw in on it. I'll show you in just a minute. I done washed her off somewhat. It ain't perfect, but... The water hose does a good job when it's hot. I wanted to see if it was going to crack, but it was cast iron. No diggity, no doubt. I'm going to get these burgers going. And then, something so I've never ever cooked before, but I have tried them about a month ago, and they were good. Stay tuned. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You can hear it. Uncovered. Griddle. Hamburger meat. Nothing but just pure rub on it. Nothing else. I wanna I wanna taste this seasoning. And then after I get these done, I'm gonna flip this sucker over, put it on the flat side, and try something different. Along with my buns, with a different rub seasoning. My first flip. I flipped it too soon, which really doesn't matter. But I do know this. That's fishing to run over. And when it does, it's going to go over in them, on them charcoals. What's going to happen? It's going to smoke or it's going to catch a flame. But if it catches a flame, it's going to be okay because I got it on the griddle. It's not like it's over a, 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 a flame of fire. It, it, it will flame up and burn your hamburgers if you forgot you got them on there. Or, would it flame up and catch the whole dead gum top of this here griddle on fire? Mmm. Just wondering. Well, I know this. These here mittens... <laughs> on that still burns your hands after about two seconds that is one hot mammy jammy no diggity no doubt I can't touch nothing dead gummy there they are with the grill marks all over them. oh 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 Woo! oh my goodness they smell so dead gum good. Mm. Alright, a couple of minutes has been passed. Done enough. Little buttered buns on the griddle. Oh yeah. Oh my goodness. Now comes the finale. Something I have never ever done before. First time ever, I hear a bone jar. 
a chef bonjour de stuff. Flip the griddles. Time. Now. For the entree. Well, it ain't an entree, but that gummy. I'm going to try something. But I'm going to show you this first. While I'm out here cooking, I got this little old microwave. And uh, that's where I'm storing my stuff at. Holds the heat in. No diggity, no doubt. Got it flipped. I have no idea how to do this. My wife said I should put some milk and egg in it. But I didn't. Then you got to fry it in grease, but I'm not. I'm just putting it straight up on a, a seasoned grill on the bottom side. I've never cooked on it before. But this here is mashed potatoes with some bread, bread, uh, bread something. Bread crumbs or something over it. If they stick, they stick. If they burn, they burn. I have no idea what I'm doing. Because I am Chef Bonjardi. Trying it out for the first time ever. Fried mashed potatoes. Patties. Mmm. Well, this here is my first flip after two minutes on this here griddle. And it's starting to brown. Some type of breadcrumbs or something. Got a whole bunch of green stuff in it. Seasonings or something. Don't know. It should be good. We're going to give it a taste test. The official bone jar guarantee taste test. It's good, it's bad, it's evil. Don't know. Second flip. Uh, it looks like it's getting done. I have no idea what I'm doing, but I'm going to eat it. Or try attempt to eat it. So, there you go. I don't know. They're kind of mushy. But you're supposed to fry them and put eggs in it and all, well, something, 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 or another. And I didn't do all that. I just put them on the griddle. Now it's time to get them off. Get my plate, plate fixed. And uh, do a little taste test. Official. Bone jar D style. All right, the fish will taste test. That is way different on this hamburger. The seasoning rub that Cooking with CJ sent me is totally different than any seasoning I ever had before. And that's like restaurant style good. <clears throat> It's not hot. That is actually good. Wow. Now comes the... Now that's good. I should have put that on these potatoes. No diggity, no doubt. I don't know what these potatoes are going to taste like. Cooked the way I cooked them, but here we go. That's just, that is a, uh, a brand of breadcrumbs. I don't know the name of it, but it had all kinds of seasoning in it. It was fine, real fine grated. With that seasoning, it's fantastic, Kim. You want to take a bite? Try it. You got on it. Th just that rub. That's it. Nothing else. Nothing else. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Restaurant style tasting to me. Mm hmm That is a very real, 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 very, very, very good flavor. Mm-hmm. Now that's not cooked over fire. That's cooked on the griddle. Oh. Just like pan frying. Oh. Wow. You know you're still recording. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Them bread clumps. It's got a good flavor. It's got some ranch in it. Mm-hmm. That's got a good flavor. Mm -hmm. And it turned out all right. Mm-hmm. Cooked on the griddle. Mm-hmm. 
Wow. Chef Bone Jardy, once again, with another first time ever cooking out here in Bone Jar. And I don't have my hat on because I'm not a professional yet. I'm just Chef Bone Jardy.